Jim here and uh, this is a video that I've been wanting to make for quite a long time. One of the main interests that I have is uh, train simulators. Between Microsoft Train Simulator and Train Simulator 2020 I've also got Train Sim World and I've not really used it very much but uh, this this really is just me getting back into the swing of things, getting everything all sorted out, you know, getting it all recorded and the audio and all the rest of it. And, uh, I've been through it a few times, as I said, just to make sure that all my levels are all okay. And uh, what I want to do now is just go through a couple of tutorials. So, no further ado, what I'm going to do is choose the, t the Tees Valley line here and uh, to go through probably the first uh, tutorial. I've been through it a few times, as I said, but I uh, want to want to actually get it recorded and uh, let's just start from square one so let's click on this and let's get going and one thing I'm going to try and not do is talk over the in-game audio which is easier said than done um, because the guy lets me talk quite a bit when he's giving you the introductory uh, lessons but uh, I'll try and let the audio come through so as I said, uh, we're not going to do any journeys at the moment I just want to go through some training so let's uh, let's go ahead and go with that And as you can see, I've done the class 37 introduction already. Um, it's a good one to get started uh, because, again, I uh, I'm still getting myself familiar with all the all the trains. I want to go through the class 101 and the class 8, and the class 8 is probably one of my favourite trains. But let's get through the class 37 again. And as you can see, it's a fairly short route, and the whole thing should take around five minutes to get done. So let's get started. So here we are, class 37 introduction. Welcome to these class 37 slash 5 diesel electric locomotives in rail freight sector livery. This brief introduction will go through the startup and stop procedures. The rear locomotive is already running with its tail lights on and its handbrake released. Climb aboard the lead locomotive to get started. And I have been up and down these steps so many times. And let's open the door. A lot of time will be spent driving, so take a seat to continue. I'm trying to not make people too motion sick with bouncing around with the mouse here in the look view, but it's, uh, and I haven't got the anti-aliasing set up properly just yet, but uh, I'm quite happy with it. The key is used to activate the driver's controls. And I've got a button set on my, on my joystick um, that'll hit for the master key. Set the reverser as indicated in preparation to start the engine. Go ahead and start the locomotive. I've also got um, a push button on my joystick that'll hold in and that'll get the engine started. So. Handbrake holding the locomotives, set the train brake as indicated. So, train brake set to running, okay. The main reservoir will take a moment to charge. This can be observed by watching the brake dials. Now use the reverser to set the direction of travel. Okay, I'm not really 100% sure what I'm looking for on the dials here, but uh, he's asked us to move the reverser to forward, so let's do that. And again, I'm not going to use the uh, the mouse and the controller, I've got a, a joystick that I use for that, so let's set the reverser to forward. Lights and a head code are important to let anyone around know that this locomotive is operational. And if you just follow where the arrow is pointing, it actually tells you which uh, which switches you need to throw. So here we go. It's time to move. Set the handbrake as indicated. And the handbrake takes forever. So. And if anyone's interested, I can actually show you my uh, joystick setup uh, 
how I've got all these controls set. Increase the throttle to start moving. Do not apply too much power too quickly. Okay, let's get going. Make use of the brakes and throttle controls to manage the train and prevent overspeeding. Yeah, he stopped talking there for some reason. I must have uh, went to coasting before he told me. Never mind. And hopefully I won't overspeed here. And I can feel the tension building. <laughs> Approaching the stop marker, apply a small amount of brake force to achieve a comfortable stop. And are we going to make it or are we going to stop short? Yeah, we're going to stop short, I think. of this locomotive yeah and uh, yeah it's like saying it's a very very simple tutorial you know getting uh, get the engine started uh, release the brakes apply the brakes but uh, let's have a look here as you can see I'm at level three I mean because I've run through this so many times just to see how uh, to get everything all up and running and that's the thing about the simulator is that it's not difficult, but learning where all the controls are. And uh, even while I was doing the tutorial there, I was actually applying the brakes instead of letting the brakes off. And uh, it's again, I'm using switches. I'm using a, a program called SimuCheck. And uh, let's say I've got all the, all the brakes set for switches, and I've got the uh, reversal set to the joystick itself, and the throttle set to a joystick. So I'm still learning all that. So hope you enjoy the video. As I said, this is a very very basic one, and uh, hopefully it'll be the first of many. So hope everyone was having a great day, and uh, thanks again for watching. Please feel free to leave your comments below, and uh, all the best. Take care now.